Hi guys, Starshift here. Welcome to episode 2 of Getting to Steel. In today's episode we're going to process netherrack into concentrated hellfire. We're then going to use that concentrated hellfire to build a hibachi. We're also going to build a bellows and a turntable and bring all three together to create a stoked fire which is the basis for pottery which will be covered in episode 3. So to start with we are going to grind some netherrack in our millstone in order to get ground netherrack. Whilst that's grinding um, I'll show you how to make the bellows and turntable. So bellows is made using tanned leather across the middle, belt, gears on the bottom corners and then siding along the top gives us bellows. To make a turntable, stone down the sides, that's smooth stone, sidings along the top, gear and redstone and the other way around. And that gives us a turntable. So we'll use these in the build. So turntable is a fantastic clock mechanism and for the next episode I'll look to install these in the farms um, to help auto power these things. Okay so we've got eight ground netherrack. I'm just going to wait until sorry we've got six. I'm going to wait until we've got eight ground netherrack. So seven, one more to go. Okay, and there's our eight ground netherrack. We now need to turn this netherrack into hellfire dust. So I'm going to go to a new building I've made, which will be our kiln. But for the moment, I've set up a water flow flowing along into the over this hopper, and then flowing down round. Essentially, all you need is a powered hopper. I can't stress this enough. Make sure it's powered. You can test this if you want by just dropping something in and checking it drops out the bottom. You need to install a soul sand filter and once this is done you need to pass the ground netherrack over the top of the hopper. So you can just do this by chucking it in the top. I'm just going to chuck it in here just to show how this works as well. You can see the ground netherrack will flow along so it goes over the hopper, it turns into hellfire dust. And then that is what we need to turn it into concentrated hellfire. Always make sure your hopper is powered, and this is why I'd recommend changing to a water wheel um, before you do this. Because all it takes is a bit of rain, if, and suddenly you will end up with a minor explosion. So once you have your hellfire dust we then need to put this into the, our stewing pot and again make sure that the stewing pot is not stoked. Now this shouldn't be a problem at this stage but as you get further on don't put hellfire dust into a stoked cauldron or stewing pot. So you can see there our eight hellfire dust has turned into one concentrated hellfire block. So in order to make a hibachi what we need is some smooth stone again. We need our concentrated hellfire and for the purposes of this I've already made a few blocks so you can see our eight only made one of these. We're going to need 27 in order to make nine hibachis. Filament in the middle redstone at the bottom. You can see that I get nine hibachis out of that. We're now going to bring all of these items together. So in here I've made bases of a fire pit with a stewing pot on top for testing purposes. 
So the hibachis will go on top of these. You can make the hibachis configurable. There's some designs out there in order in allowing you to switch them on and off, but I've never really needed that functionality. So before I install them, I'm going to install the bellows. And you can see there it again I've fed mechanical power through into the bellows and it has compressed. In order to make the bellows work properly, we're going to have to set a timer to expand and compress this on a regular basis. I'm now going to install the hibachis. You see as soon as they realize they've got power underneath them, they'll light up. At this point I'd recommend just testing to make sure that it's working correctly. So if I put a raw pork chop in, it should be at this stage, seeing as the fire is not stoked, so we haven't set the timer up, at this stage I should just get a cooked pork chop. In order to install the timer, I'm going to put the turntable, and again, mechanical power has been fed up, so the turntable has to receive power, mechanical power from below. And this should now rotate items. So, easy way to test it, put a redstone torch on it, make sure it goes round. For the purpose of the bellows, I recommend setting it on the second faster setting and putting on a second redstone torch. This will ensure we receive a, generate a pulse that's regular, so demonstrate that. See, it's, it goes on and off at regular intervals. This needs to be fed through into the gearbox that goes into the bellows. And you can see now I've done this, this gearbox is being activated and deactivated due to the redstone signal about once every second. So, And you can see the bellows is now going up and down. So this fire is now stoked. To confirm this, the pork chop which was in there has now been converted to tallow. So it's always good to just check to make sure whether your fire is stoked or unstoked. That's the end of the episode today. Next episode I'm going to install a kiln here and I'm also going to use probably a, a separate turntable in order to show you how to create pottery, fire it in the kiln and hopefully that will set us up as the basis for steel. And we should be able to create a crucible and some urns that pretty much take us to the, near to the end of where we're able to create steel. So that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions again, let me know. Cheers.